Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you guys for watching. I have a quick tip for you guys. This one's talking about the XJ. I hope you guys have been enjoying the XJ series. Go up and watch the other videos if you haven't seen what I've done so far. I replaced my fuel injectors today. I didn't film this part. This was pretty tedious for me. Uh, it would have been very difficult for me to film. There's a lot of videos on there, but I just want to let you guys know I changed my fuel injectors today. It was running just a little heavy, and it was throwing a code uh, for PO3, which is the third injector here. So I did that. I actually had a battery issue as well. The battery went dead, so I ended up picked up a, a Red Top Optimum battery, Optima battery, which is uh, one of the best batteries out there. And I want I want it to be good, but I had an issue with when I finished that project, my cluster panel the inter instrument cluster panel went out completely oh the odometer went out my radio went out and my dome lights went out and I've heard of some people actually losing the power locks on their on their Jeep so this actually has power locks I didn't test the locks but I think that would have been out as well and I was researching how to fix it guys were pulling the dash apart and cleaning the um, the no bus signals that you get when you have no signal to your instrument panel I, I didn't really think that I was losing signal to the panel because it was working in the morning. I, I must have did something when I was working on the injectors and the battery and everything. I must have done something to the fuses. I checked all the fuses that are assigned to the instrument panel, the radio and stuff like that, and they were fine. I found a forum online that showed exactly which fuse you need to be checking. This is the easy fix. So if you come over here, there's two two instrument panels, or there's two fuse box panels on the on the XJs. Under the hood, and there's one on the passenger side. If you go up under the floorboard, there's another panel box there. But come over here. Let me flip you guys around here so it'll be a little bit easier to film. All right, so under here, there's actually several, there's several uh, small fuses here, and I'm not even sure what these are for. Uh, I'm not a real big electrical guy. I'm not sure what most of these things are for, and these aren't even numbered. But the forum I had, a guy, he was pointing to this exact fuse right here. It's a 15 amp fuse right here in the corner and his was light blue um, I don't have any light blue fuses on my Jeep I have these dark blue ones but I pulled it out and it was definitely busted here I still have it so I, I thought I had the fuse with me but I didn't but but anyway I, I got an extra fuse from the back of the panel door here there was a actually a 15 amp fuse here i don't know how old they are but it's really cool that they're uh i'm actually going to put a couple extra ones here just so i have them this is where the other panel is located i checked all those and they all seem fine but check your door behind your your uh, fuse box panel here for extra fuses if you don't have some i have some somewhere but that was kind of handy to have these here just a little quick tip for you if your dome lights aren't working your instrument panels not working and you don't know what to do check that fuse first so definitely check under here fuse 15 15 amp i don't know what number it is but check that one out hopefully that helps fix your instrument panel your dash all that stuff your radio before you start ripping your panel off your dash panel so good luck guys take care see you in the next one